I remember when I had 100 subscribers, I felt like if somebody just gave me a chance, my channel would explode. When I started making YouTube videos, all I really wanted out of it was a voice. I didn't care about the money, I just wanted a voice. I wanted people to hear me, and to know that there were others out there like me, who had a sh** life in religion. The problem was that nobody would shout me out. None of the bigger YouTubers would even talk to me, except a few like Logic and Eseth Original. They were my first shoutouts, and I can't thank them enough. I decided I would never be the YouTuber who didn't communicate with fans, or with other fellow YouTubers, and who never gave shoutouts. Even with shoutouts, though, the change is so gradual that it's hard to tell when you've finally met your goal. But I feel like I can say with confidence that I have met my goal with flying colors. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome when I started out with YouTube a year and nine months ago. It was at least a year before I started seeing a real subscriber count. I have you guys to thank for my voice, and I consider myself your voice against the harmful cults who've ruined so many of our lives. That being said, there are others out there who've been doing this longer than me. Their time is long overdue. They have paid their dues. So take a look at these channels. First, I want to mention The Geek Room. They have an awesome format. The channel is run by Wolf and Bran the Law, and they have a live stream format where they talk about videos and memes. They heavily cover religion, and they've been on YouTube since October 2016. Check this out. Fix that earth. We got, uh... Fix that earth. The flat earth. Okay. Right? <laughs> so you got... Earth? With an F. <laughs> and we're gonna take his word that he knows... Okay. All right. We're just... Yeah, I'm sorry. Well, I know I'm doing this kind of old, this old ghetto ass illustration and shit, but the earth flat ain't a goddamn ball. <laughs> and uh, if you believe it's a ball, you can suck my balls. I'm gonna continue to say that it's flat as fuck. But he I'm is tea bag. Like, oh. He's tea bag. <laughs> oh shit! You paused it perfect. Look at his fucking eye. <laughs> <laughs> this is a flat earther, ladies and gentlemen. A perfect illustration right here before your eyes. <laughs> Next is Prophet of Zod. When I watch his videos, it makes me consider the philosophical implications of events surrounding religion and its impact on society. He's had his channel since January, coming up on a year now. He's a deep thinker, and you guys should check out his channel. Here he is. Look, here's the thing, Rhett. You're coming to us with a proposition that a certain being exists. If you can't show us direct, observable evidence for your God, you need to at least demonstrate that he's logical and consistent. Sure, it's possible that something might be bigger than us and operate differently than we do. But you need to build your arguments for such a being on something that's consistent with our body of observed evidence. Because unless we start with that ground rule, literally anybody could just make anything up. And finally, we have Steve McRae. He's been on YouTube since March 2013. That's almost four years. He started the Great Debate community on G+, and he's helped a community of thinkers grow for a good long time. He's facilitated many debates with fundamentalists, including a debate between Kent Hovind and King Crocoduck, which is how I first heard about him. He considers himself agnostic, not atheist. He's been pioneering the idea that atheism is a claim that God doesn't exist, and agnosticism is rejecting a claim that God exists. For example, if you had a box of Tic Tacs and somebody claims that there's an even number in the box, rejecting the claim doesn't mean that you're claiming they're odd. It just means you don't accept the claim that it's even. So it is with theism, atheism, and agnosticism. It's a complicated subject, and I'm not sure I agree with him, but that's the heart of progress, isn't it? The ability to challenge ideas and discuss them without being at each other's throats. That's what his channel and community is all about. He has some good content, and he's worth a watch. Check him out. Here's his channel. Welcome to the Great Debate Community. A place where experts and laypersons get together to discuss topics dealing with theology, philosophy, biology, cosmology, and many other subjects. We think that the great debate is more than just trying to answer the unanswerable question of if God exists or God does not exist. We believe that it is not an ongoing battle between atheist and theist, but is a constant battle of rational versus irrational. That's all I've got for you. All links are in the description. Check out their channels. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys.